Hello! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to tell you about all the houseplants in my collection that I hate. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you about the plants that I regret buying, really regret buying, and I don't even like to look at them. I think we'll have a common running theme through them, so. Before we get into today's video, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Maybe you've been binge watching my videos and you just forgot to hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the community. I also have YouTube memberships, which you can check out at the link in the description. And I have merch. This is my Ilsa Maniai merch. It is so cute. I hecking love it so much. It's got like a 70s, like 80s kind of theme to it. And you can get it at the link in the description. There's tons of other colorways. I just liked this pink one. And let's get into the video, okay? I have some plants sitting here that I really regret buying. And I'll give you the reasons why. And it's not just like they died. We have more complex reasons. A couple of them, I'm just like a big dum-dum. So, you know, we can get into that too. But let's start with the saddest first. This is the saddest one. And you guys are gonna hate me. Like you're gonna literally hate me because I hate me too. And if anyone knows if I can bring this back, please let me know because I will if I can. This, this hurts. This is like my favorite staghorn. I spent so much money on this. I bought this in Salt Lake City and I brought it all the way back to Oregon. This cost me $65. And rightfully so, it was iconic. The moss in here would dry out so fast. Even when I was watering this thing on a daily basis, it wasn't enough. Listen to this, just like hard. It's, it's so, it is so sad. I it, literally, I have soaked this. I soaked this thing once for days, try to bring it back and just nothing, bro. Literally nothing. And I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. If you know how to fix this, like if it's still alive, but it's just dry, like if I can keep this wet and it'll come back, if someone could let me know because I will do whatever it takes to save it. I definitely don't water my plants often enough to be able to take care of plants in just sphagnum, which is really sad. It's not like that was my favorite staghorn or anything. <laughs> the next one I'm gonna show you are actually two. These are uh, Alocasia Beginda Dragon Scale. And the only reason I've let these sit here like this is because they will come back. I took this one out of its pot. This one actually just died on me. These really require like a, a heck ton of humidity so what i was going to do is i was going to repot these bulbs in with my uh beginda that's in here uh once that one needs to be repotted because it does need to be repotted soon the only reason i regret buying these is number one because i have one already i have an alocasia dragon scale the one with the red veins underneath and i bought uh one in oregon when i was there last 98 dollars which for like an alocasia dragon scale is a is like not a lot of money at all and then i found this one at Pistols for $65. The same the same day that I was in Oregon, literally the same day. We would have gone back and returned to this, except that was the night I was leaving for the airport. So we didn't have any time to go back. The plot twist was that this one was like a tiny baby and this one was actually like a, a pretty decently big leaf. This is the small leaf uh, that, that came out of the bigger one. It was really, really depressing because it was like, not only do I already have one, but like I bought it because I was like, wow, that'll never happen again because these plants you used to like not be able to get at all and then suddenly I find two in the same day one's $30 more expensive than the other one so there's that the next one I bought I also bought that same trip in Oregon or actually it could have been the trip before this is Deshidia Oyantha Vergata and the reason I bought this is because it said Imbricata Deshidia Imbricata and I didn't do research first which is like so dumb of me not only does it not stay dry because it's literally just on moss and wood but it also hasn't grown any roots so it is literally two stems of unrooted oyantha and here's the kicker i paid 80 dollars for this and to shitty oyantha you can get pots of it on etsy for 20 bucks like of the variegated variety and i bought it because it was like it was kind of cute and i'd never seen it before i thought it was kind of fun and then it just sucked so i think i'm gonna unmount it and stick it in some perlite and try to save it because i spent so much money on it i don't want it to just die i'm stupid is like what i'm saying <laughs> i should have done more research i should just like looked up what the shitty imbricata is it looks like this does not look anything like this. Now, speaking of Imbricata, we have my Hoya Imbricata, and I actually traded for this thing. I didn't buy it, but um, he's cute. I actually love this. I love this plant a lot, but the reason I regret buying it, it's literally in like a block of wood, and I don't know how that happened, but it's literally in a chunk of wood, um, and then there's cocoa coir at the bottom of it, but like up at the top part, like look, it's literally a chunk of wood. 
and it doesn't hold any water. So I'm gonna repot it soon. But I wish that I had like bought a different one because, or traded for a different one because this one also ended up like dying. Like there's whole parts that have just like literally completely died. And this was like a pretty decently large plant and it just literally like it's a ton. And I water this thing all the time. Like this is like one of the only things I probably water every few days because I love it so much. I love Hoya and Bricotta, but it doesn't want to stay freaking wet. Like it literally just dries out every literal chance that it gets. So rip, I guess. Okay, so next we have another Hoya. Well, we have a couple. This is Hoya Multiflora, and I don't know where I got this, but I do regret buying this because it like won't. Well, first of all, it's flowering twice, which is exciting. It is, it also won't stay watered. So I think I need to repot this one as well. Try to keep it watered more but it loses leaves left and right. Like this needs to be watered every two days. And it is flowering, so I guess technically she's stressed out enough to flower, which is a good thing, but it's really just like not the best because she's like always dying. Like at one point, I thought I had killed it. I thought I had literally just completely killed it and there was no chance. I wish I could remember where I got this from. I literally cannot remember where I got this from. Yeah, Hoya Multiflora. This is a Hoya I do typically like. She's becoming a nuisance. We have another Hoya. This is my Hoya Carii, which is actually kind of exciting right now, which like I say with like wariness, not a Hoya that I like at all. I bought this because it was $42 for this entire pot. And usually it's like, 50 or $60 for like a small strand of a couple leaves, like three leaves. Like this much right here would be like 60 or $70 in my area. So for an entire basket like this, and it was a hanging basket, $42, I was like, oh, and it was on sale. I, I couldn't, I literally couldn't say no. And it's a little splashy, like this leaf right here. He's got some splash going on, which is exciting. It also is more exciting because it has a little has a stem coming out right now. It's about to throw hands. You can see the little hand nubbins sticking out right there. So it looks like we're gonna get some more, which is kind of fun. But like, look at this thing. It is so root bound. I need to repot this. Oh, and there's a spider living on it. That's cute. You got some use out of my plant. Anyways, I mean like, I, I, I just wish I hadn't bought it, you know? But also I, I'm glad I bought it because I'll probably never find it one this big for that price again. But also I feel like I, I purely bought this because of its low price and not because it's a plant I actually like. The next plant I bought is also a Hoya and this one just bothers me so much. I fully regret buying this. This is a Hoya variegated Weyedii or Kentiana. I got it for $24.99 over a year ago. It hasn't grown. It hasn't grown a single, well, okay, it's grown a couple new leaves. Like these, these little baby leaves right here are new, but I don't know how new they are. I have literally had this plant for over an entire year and it is still the same size as I bought it. Literally doesn't make sense. I haven't taken cuttings to give to anyone. It just literally doesn't grow, bro. We have like no peduncles. So I think I'm gonna repot it because that's the only thing I can think of is that like it doesn't have enough nutrients in its pot or or something and it has like new stems like I see new stems here it isn't giving me like any new leaves it is it was literally this size when I bought it from Edwards over a year ago how is that literally possible so I regret buying this one just because sure it's pretty like that's pretty nice plant but it no grow then we have this dendrobium I actually someone just left me a mean comment the next plant I'm gonna show you is this dendrobium, which I just bought. It's dendrobium aberrans. And I think I'm gonna send this to one of my friends because I really don't love it and I don't want it to die, but I just am not here for it. <laughs> I bought this one purely because of the flowers and I thought that I could get over how that looks. And I literally can't, it grosses me out. I do not like how it looks at all. I thought maybe it'd be better if I mounted it, but it's just really not for me. So I'm gonna text Brooke and Max. Somebody wants it, I'll just send it to them. Really not a vibe. Like it literally is so not a vibe. It is the opposite of a vibe. I hate it so much. Like I hate this plant. I do not like it. I pushed myself out. I was like, literally I bought it because to push myself out of my comfort zone to try something new. And I hate it. I hate it so much. This fills me with dis desperation. Spies, spiesment, desperation. I don't know. The last plant I have to show you is a plant that is going to piss a lot of you off. And that is, this. This was my Cebu Blue, and as, as a lot of you guys know, I've had 
to Cebu Blue for months, like probably over a year. I had it since dorm to my apartment and then to this house. And then something just happened and I think it was the water that just killed it. So I replaced it with this one and another one. And again, with like the watering, they just died. It didn't matter how much I watered this plant. It's not, it doesn't have a root issue. The water I honestly believe killed this plant. I even tried watering it with bottled water for a while, but I think it was just too far gone. And yes, you can see the tag is still on it. It is a Cebu Blue. I love Cebu Blue so much. I think that they're some of the most beautiful plants. They're amazing Epipremnum Panatums. They're actually not in the Pothos genus. They are Epipremnum Panatum. I regret buying this because I bought this one and another one and I think together it cost me $30 and within two weeks they were dead. And I've been holding on to this to film like a dead plants video, but I haven't killed any other plants recently because I'm a good plant mom. So here she is. And it was so beautiful and long too. Like you can see how beautiful and long it would have been. Probably even saw it in my video the other day, hanging on my stinking like curtain rod, just hanging there dead. So now we know what's wrong with the water. So we're getting filters for everything. Sad face. So there you have it. Those are the house plants that I hate in my collection. Most of those I really, really don't like, but I would say yeah, those others of them I just really do regret buying. Thanks for watching this video. I know this was more of a negative video, but sometimes I feel like we just need to air our grievances into the world to feel recovered again. So thank you for letting me air my grievances. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and tweet me at Plant Me Ashley. Follow me on Instagram at Plant Me Ashley and message me there as well if you have any questions. All of your other questions and comments should go in the comment section. Let me know what plants you own or you've bought recently that you actually do regret buying. I am so curious to know what those are. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the memberships. Check out the merch. Super pretty, super fun. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next houseplant section. Goodbye. <laughs>